So when you look at overall affiliations, you know, you see you, you know, doing stuff with Young Thug, you know, you got the thing going over Travis Scott. Who's in Gunner's inner circle? Like, like as far as like right now. Right. You know, like like far as like you know, like what situation you're tied to? Because I know there's like a few things that's just you know there was like there's the stream company. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like right now, I'm, I'm going. I'm trying to see what like what label I'm about to just be all the way committed to right now. Like everything's just been just positive though. Been having good conversations. Trying to get that bidding war going. The bid is on. Oh, say word. The bid is on. They already, they are. It's already the bid, and already been. It was just we just waiting it out. We still working. We ain't, we ain't jumping to conclusions. So when you go into this new situation, like, do you have an overall scope where, like, you know, you go into it as just the artist, or you want to go in as a mogul? You want to like mogul. bring cats on? That's my that's that's my main thing with right now. Like, I got a the label that I want to go to. I want to be like one of the. Head honchos and you know what I'm saying build. With, I'm I'm like this wherever I'm at. I'm a build. You know what I'm saying that's how it. Why I sell like I don't just build it with the team. Like I'm a teamwork like person. You know what I'm saying teamwork make the dream work. I really believe that. So like wherever I go, they gotta let me be me and still let me do what I want to do and like bring creativeness to the team. You know what I'm saying let me be creative how I want to be creative. That's the only thing I want. Any label I go to. Word. Yeah. Now, when you look at the current scope of Atlanta rap, you know, they try to classify, you know, there's trap over here. You got traditional hip hop over here. You got some people that do that hybrid style with a little bit of singing and rapping. Yeah. What do you put, do you categorize yourself internally in any of those boxes where you feel like you belong to one thing more so than another? No. I just, I make good music. That's, I really feel like I just make good music. I got, all type of style of music, just like other, some other artists. So it's just like, I don't want to even get put in no category. Say I'm, say I'm R&B, hip hop, pop, rock star. Put me on all, all categories. I can make all kind of music. Just got to listen to it. Got you. Is there like a wish list of cats that you want to work with that you haven't got a chance to get in the studio with? Um, not that I... Haven't just already been working with and don't want to tell people about. You so you know? got you got some joints in the stash. Yeah, up my sleeve. Yeah. Well, weapons Hits. of mass destruction. Yes. So when do we get the next offering? I mean, I know you know we just got drip season three not too long ago. It's been a while. I'm 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 kind of I got relaxed a little bit, so I'm ready to I'm ready to drop again now. I'm I'm about consistency. I know I know music at all. I listen to music. So I'm ready to give my people more music right now. So. Do you feel like that puts a lot more pressure on you as an artist? Because, you know, you know, once upon a time, there was a time when you could drop an album and that joint would carry you for 12 months. Right. Now with the level that everybody's working, I mean, you got this guy dropping a mixtape every four months, this guy dropping three albums in a year. You right. know, you got to fight for your, you know, you fight for people's attentions a lot harder. Does that put any pressure or stress on you overall? No. It make it make you want you work if you really want it you gonna go harder. That's it. Like tough love, go ahead get it. Like don't even don't even get mad. Just work. That's all it's about. Got like you. the generation changing. Like even the genre of music, how the style of music. Like you got older people who don't even like want to even hear what we got to say. And I know I I know I got some. If they listen to it, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, he he got an old soul. Or I can I can listen to that song right there. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta just try it out. Got you. So yeah. let's just say, if you was like hanging out with somebody who, let's just say Cameron was their favorite rapper. Cam. What song of yours would you play to, like, like hey, I'm kind of in that vibe. Right. Or, or I think you should rock with me. Right. Um, I would I would probably play them right now. Um, the song I got out is called Us. Um. Featuring Day East, it's it's like it's just one of them up top vibes. Like it ain't really, it ain't jumpy jumpy. It's one of them up top vibes that I know they gonna feel. I just know it. Like I, so, that's the song I would play for Cam. I know it's like they listen to it now. Mm -hmm. Like so, I know that's the one I would play for him. 
Got you. So that covers the late '90s, early 2000s crew. Let's just yeah. say if you got you know some dude with a bunch of gray whiskers in his beard, he pays his taxes every year. He holds a corporate job over at uh, FedEx Kinkos, and he only listens to Karis One and old school NWA. What gunner song do you play for that guy? Mm, I gotta play him like I gotta play him toast up off of the three like the last song. You know what I'm saying? Kind of just. Ease in, get yeah. one of them slow ones. Let them let them hear my words, cause even slow songs, I'm, I I be able to say a lot more of how I feel, cause it's, the song slow and it's more real, you know what I'm saying? Than just me wanting to vibe and talk about me spinning and kicking it or whatever the lifestyle, you know. Yeah. So that's that's the song I play that toast up. So okay. He, now what about you know? Cause you definitely want the females to come to the party, right? Mistress. So, oh, so, so that's the joint you would play, play for the, the female who likes like the shoeless Drake music, you know, like, where he sounds like he's in his feelings, like you know, coloring. I mean, yeah, I still play for a get out that mood, cause you know, girl, women, women different. They they like to be conservative, then they like to have fun. Yeah. So you know, it's it's a time for that. Once they get down playing that, you know what I'm saying, getting out of that her shoes or whatnot, then you can play mistress. And then get in your vibe and get ready for the club or wherever you're going tonight. I hear that. Yeah. Okay. So being in Atlanta, making the kind of music you make, dressing the way you dress, I know the female activity has to be like all off, time off high. the charts, right? Vibes. Vibes. <laughs> Every day, all day. How tough know? is it for you to move around? Because I know when you probably be bopping through Lennox or or wherever. I can't shop in Lennox. Oh, we've we've graduated no. past. So hey. okay, so when you when you graduate from shopping at Lennox, where do you go? You gotta go out of town, man. Sets be cool, but you still a catch you some in set. I just was in sets the other day. Somebody ran, took took some out of my car, man. They they broke into your car. Broke it. Bro I can't even say they broke in. I left the door unlocked. Ah, oh, come on. Green, green, man. I, I was, they had the ball main, and I had to go in there. I was too excited to get. I just jumped out the car, but I blame my peers around me. They ain't, they ain't tell me either. They were supposed to be like, "Yo, gonna lock, lock the door." Lock your door. <laughs> they post. That's what they around me for. They not around just to let me do anything. So when you, when you go shopping with your crew, do they just have to sit and watch you shop? Of course not. Oh, cause you copping for the whole fam, the whole crit, the, the whole crew is dripping. Man, we just went pouring Angel down all the sweatsuits and the insects, man. Thousand apiece. Don't do that for the crew. Us. That's generous. Got to do it. I can't even, it don't even feel right if I'm the only one fresh. Oh, God. You're going to be like, bro, what What are you doing? Even when I was just coming up, we ain't, like, when I ain't had nothing, I had, like, the big home, like, one of my bros, like, who was getting money. Man, we going to Linux together. Get you some. Like, you That's got to. That's a dope spirit to have, man. You got to be like that. That's why you keep getting blessed, man, with all these all these for different sure. opportunities. For sure. Like some people be in and this such ain't a no mentality. Cap. Like you can call my homies and they gonna be like, nah, he we do right. We that's that's no cap. We were just in the mall. On me, I got him. Like it's just love. So all these people that's in your inner circle, these are the guys that been there. Are these like grade school friends or? Not even. Not I got a couple grade schools with me. And then I got friends that just I don't just. Met that just real, just true and genuine, like that I met maybe a, a year and a half ago. You know what I'm saying? And just we just rocking. You know, I don't think it's, I don't put no time on loyalty and like like a person could be just one thousand just ain't met the right person to be loyal to. Right. You know what I'm saying? They gonna get the same loyalty back. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you meet new friends at this point in your career? Cause like you know, I mean, you you're in a situation where the rocket ship is going up. The boosters are about to come off, and you're about to go to another place. So not everybody necessarily always like pops up and presents themselves in front of you for the right reasons. You just so, know. You just know you get that feeling. You read people. You know, like, off top, what you what your plan is, what you, what's on your mind, just by a conversation with me. I'm just know, like, oh, you just want to be around. You want to be you want to be the artist. Yeah. You want to rap too. That's cool. I'm, I'm going to treat you like a rapper. You know what I'm saying? If you just here to support me, then it's a different story. You here to, We here to rock out and do support with, it, with what I got going on. So it's just different people. Like You just read them and just understand where they coming from. Might just be a person you just could do business with. Just strictly business. It's a business relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just different people. 
Got you. Now, you know, when you get in this business, sometimes the best and worst thing that could possibly happen is you meet people that you look up to or looked up to at one point. You don't have to say any names, but have you ever had an interaction with a person who you were a fan of growing up and it just wasn't what you thought? You know, they were the For opposite sure. of what you thought it was going to sure. be. It kind of rubbed you the wrong way. You be thinking they turned, but they really burnt. You know what I'm saying? And it, it ain't this one that. And it just, it probably was just back then in that time. You know what I'm saying? They was in their prime. You know, I really, I look at like a lot of stuff with it. I know people go up and come back down. I know people go through stuff and still balance out. Mm -hmm. So you just you just gotta really know the situation. I done been around like a OG like, oh damn. I ain't think he was like that, but then I look at like maybe he's still just conservative. He punish money up. He older now. You know, you, when you get older you start to just do more humble stuff and just be like, Man, I'm I'm just living for myself. So I be looking at it like that, like that's probably why he ain't turned like he used to be, or that's why he probably don't. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta get a people a benefit of doubt at first. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how long do you think it'll take you to get to that point to where? I mean, because everybody has a hot and cold season. I mean, like right. the same money you can spend this year may be different than the money you spend in For sure. twenty years from now. Like, Not if you invest. So, like, look I'm into the future. I'm what are you investing in? in? I just I just bought a um a truck a truck a truck. I'm going to business with my dad because that's what he do. So he made me buy a truck, and I got me a driver. You know what I'm saying? They get paid. He pay me. So that's one of my, my my businesses right now. Smart as hell. Yeah. Passive income. People sleep on that. You got to invest. You with this money. This money come every day. I'm spending every day. So I might well spend something. They gonna bring me some money back. Bring back, right? <laughs> right. You I'm a hustler. With, you ever rock with the crypto? The cryptocurrency, like you know, like the Bitcoin and the Ethereum, all that was kind of like a wave a few months ago. It's still a thing, but I thought I was like some scam type. Like, maybe. felt scammy. Then everything started. I don't going know. Up. I Everybody didn't really get into money. it like that. I don't really. I ain't really didn't even. I'm. I'm be honest. I ain't even. I ain't even got into the stocks and Bitcoin yet. Yo, but that that, that track the trailer thing. I mean, fast forward a couple of years, you could probably have like ten. For sure. It's just a smart hustle. For sure. Some people are drug it's... dealers and don't even know it. It's the beauty of it. <laughs> yeah, right? Ignorance is bliss. You just rent out the truck. I just rent out the truck. And I'm helping him. He don't got to pay for nothing. All he got to do is just get up in the morning and go get him some money. We get money together. We in business together. Yeah. Yeah.